good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video it's about your boy cost reps corner like i always tell you guys it's my corner it's your corner and it's a corner i don't want to fall in love i just want to have some fun yeah i don't want to fall in love Wait. mr speaker my dear colleagues this is a motion on notice on the need to halt the Central Bank of Nigeria's directive on addition of social media handle on know your customer requirements. Mr. Speaker, the motion is brought by the following co-sponsors. Honorable Lauri Beatrice Kwamoti, Honorable Kelechi Wogu, Honorable Jinja Wusibe, Honorable Mark Essiet, Honorable Abu Salam Dasuki, Victor Obuzo, Blessing Amade, and Honorable Fred Abadi. Mr. Speaker, with your leave, relying on Order 8, Rule 15, I will pray that one of the co-sponsors be allowed to move the motion. Let me ask that Honorable Kelechi will be allowed to move the motion. With your leave, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. Please go ahead. The right, the Honorable Speaker. My name remains Honorable Kelechi Mug. I represent the people of Eche Omoma Federal Constituency. I'm from River State, the treasure base of the nation. I'll go straight to the motion, Mr. Speaker. Note the recent directive by the Central Bank of Nigeria to, co to commercial banks on the addition to social media handles on know your customer requirement, thus making it mandatory for commercial banks to comply. We are aware that recently the Central Bank of Nigeria released its Customer Due Diligence Regulation 2023, noting the importance of social media handles or know your customer would governize compliance with anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing provisions. Also know that uh, also know that obtaining the addition information would be useful to financial institution in assessing customers' online presence and activities, thus enabling better assessments of potential risks associated with the money laundering terrorism financing and profession financing. Right on this, we observe that as laudable as this directive may appear, may also be unnecessary as it's likely to be a pressure on teaming Nigeria masses at this trying period. Cognizant of the fact that this directive by CBN is in conflict with the provision of Section 37 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended on the right to privacy of citizens. Also cognizant of the fact that the banks in the, in the country already have the names, telephone numbers, passport photographs, email, national identification number, biometrics, verification number, utility bills, and other basic requirements with which to identify, know, and monitor their customers. Mr. Azita also took further cognizant that there are better means of monitoring money laundering, terrorism financing and proliferation finances, such as the Nigerian Police Force, Nigerian Financial, Niger, Nigerian Financial Intelligence, with the Economic Financial Crime Commission, EFCC. Right from this we also worried that if the directive takes effect, Nigerians who are not on social media with large turnovers from their businesses and trades would be compared to or systematically excluded from former banking system with its attendant negative effect and implications. Right on this guy, we're also worried about the untold hardship. This effect, this directive, will cost millions of Nigerians, especially the illiterate or semi-illiterate business owners, traders, entrepreneurs living in the villages and rural areas who do not have social media handles. Concerned that this implementation Concerned that implementation this CBN directive at this point may clearly be, unne be unnecessary as it is likely to bear a lot of pressure on TV Nigerian masses. Right, Honorable Speaker, we also took cognizant that implementing this CBN directive at this point may clearly be unnecessary. It is likely to bear a lot of pressure on TV Nigerian masses. Mr. Speaker, again, we took cognizance of the need to revisit and halt the Central Bank of Nigeria directive 
to reduce the hardship and pain faced by timid Nigerians we resolve as follows. To urge the Central Bank of Nigeria to hold the implementation of this policy. Two, mandate the Committee on Banking and Currency when constituted to investigate the matter and report back within three weeks for, for further legislative action. Right on, Mr. Thirdly, also mandate the Committee on Legislative Compliance when constituted to ensure implementation of this motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With utmost respect, Mr. Speaker, if you permit me, I will meander my way and lay this motion before the House. Any seconder?